I'm Bill Bina, Dean of the Mercer University School of Medicine. This will be our 30th commencement ceremony. I'm especially proud of our 160 graduates whose passion to support the mission of our school, which is to meet the primary and healthcare needs of rural and underserved citizens of Georgia. Coming from um, a small rural town, I really admired my pediatrician and initially when I wanted to become a doctor, I thought that I would be a pediatrician and really seeing how having a lack of health care providers affects a community and, and not being able to get in to see a physician as quickly as you need to and wanting to be on the front lines of that, wanting to be able to affect change like that, whether it's in my community or in another smaller community, um, and seeing that Mercer's mission statement was to produce primary care physicians who would go out in these rural and underserved areas um, was definitely appealing to me because it was something that I was passionate about and definitely understanding that not only do individuals in rural communities suffer from poor health outcomes, um, also minority patients do as well and so hopefully being a minority physician and having patients who are willing to come to the doctor because I look like them and being able to establish a connection with these individuals in these underserved communities to provide much needed health care um, is definitely something that I'm passionate about and I'm really excited that Mercer had this mission statement and such a push for uh, population health medicine, community health medicine, because that's definitely something that I was looking um, to incorporate into my practice and definitely one of the reasons that drew me towards Mercer. Leaving undergrad, I felt like I had taken a few of the science courses that I needed to apply to medical school, but none of them really prepared me for the rigorous academic demand that medical school has let alone to become a physician. So I decided to apply to special master's programs to improve my science background. And this one really stuck out to me because a lot of the courses were relevant to the first year of medical school. And I went with Mercer also because their mission statement really aligned with the goals that I have as a future physician. So that led me to come here. And I really liked it once I got here because the staff was very one-on-one, -on -one. they're individualized and they help you with anything that you need and also the students, they were chosen very well to mesh with one another and I think that knowing this program is so short helps us all get along pretty well in a short amount of time and overall I wouldn't trade this program for anything. Of all the things I think I'm most thankful for in choosing Mercer is uh, the supportive environment that we have here. I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed the relationships with um, the faculty members and my fellow students. Medical school is a very, very difficult thing to get through. It's four long years of very hard work and I think it's impossible to get through it alone. Um, you know, you just can't, you just can't do it alone and you need other people who are, you know, who have your best interests at heart. And Mercer is a very close-knit, um, tight, family-oriented community. And if I ever had any questions or concerns, you know, I felt very comfortable uh, talking to faculty members um, and asking their opinions and their thoughts and uh, concepts on things. And um, so I've been really thankful for that. When I was in undergrad, I did a lot of uh, research. I was still trying to go into the medical field, but I wasn't really looking into medical practice. I was trying to look more into the curing of diseases, not necessarily the frontline treatments of it. And this program gave me the opportunity to like look in the kind of the behind the scenes of medical care, like in the developing of treatments and the underlying causes of diseases. It's that you never know the answer going in. It's you're discovering something that either very few people know or that nobody knows or that you're confirming for sure. But th the point of it is that you don't know the answer going in. And that's the thrill of it. You're finding something out. You're solving the puzzle. You're doing something that nobody's ever done before and then you're showing other people how you did it, and that's moving the world forward. Yeah, so my community medicine was in a small town. It was actually um, a town about the size of the town I grew up in. Um, I was able to kind of see how, how a doctor really is intertwined in the community. They're treating you know, neighbors and preachers and police officers, and, they, um, and you're also treating generations of families. You're treating grandparents and grandchildren. And I think seeing that and the impact they have in the community and how they're intertwined in the infrastructure in the community um, is really what kind of 
draws you into wanting to go back to that small town and wanting to be a community responsive physician, whether you're a family doctor or a radiologist or a you know, general surgeon. I think Mercer kind of instills that, that in you that you, you, you can make a difference. I just really love people and I've always wanted to do something where I feel like I served a purpose in this life. Going to Mercer, um, being kind of associated with a faith-based community really just kind of brought me up another level, like made me see that I could do this for a job and I would be passionate about it and want to be there every day and feel devoted to a life serving other people. And I think being able to go to work every day and be that sort of caregiver and to have that sort of serving mentality, it, it just, I mean, it just makes life worth living, to be honest. I know it sounds so cheesy, but I really, I really love working with people. And I really love that I'm able to get up every day and help someone with their life in some sort of form or fashion. Like there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel very blessed to be doing what I'm doing. And I think that's kind of what you want and out of a job. That's the ultimate goal in life. So I hope that it continues like that for me. <laughs>